And he's got to face the fifth-ranked team in the country in Vanderbilt for a South Carolina squad that got swept last week in Tennessee. Bradfield swings at the first. This is Kevin Madden in foul territory. One down. The 0-2 from Noah Hall. Bends one in for a strike and retires Diaz. Two down. Pulls it to the right side. Nice sliding stop by Braylon Wimmer. And it's a 1-2-3 frame worked by Noah Hall. Only seven pitches needed to take down the fifth-ranked team in the country. Ground ball off the mound, and that one goes through. I'm catching flack from our esteemed statistician, Greg Campbell, because I didn't mention the mountain time zone. I'm going to assume that at some point Chris McIlvain played a road game. Walkie-talkie, what the pitch call is from the plates. You get two different ways. That one missed the edge. Runner goes. The throw is caught, and he got him. What a play by Carter Young at short, who came in front of the bag and used every inch of his frame to make the catch and put the tag down. That was Tate Colwick in front of the bag. Got him swinging, six up and six down. That's a second strikeout for Noah Hall. Easier against his Vanderbilt team. Braswell puts it on the ground a third. Shorts up Young, cuts it off, and a little bit late. And the freshman's aboard with one out. There he goes. He got off to a late start. The throw to second in plenty of time, and then he slid off the bag anyway. Strikeout, throw him out. And that'll close the Gamecocks opportunity in the second. For Young with two strikes, a payoff. And he missed it again. First base runner for Vandy. And he's not starting. He's coming out of the bullpen. Tennessee's pretty Perfect. good at baseball this year. Bradfield trying to bunt his way on, handled by Wimmer. The process you have for guys who make the move like him from the bullpen to the rotation and take advantage of that opportunity? Offside, but... I thought the, the response was great. Hey, we got a lot of guys that can play. Hogan. And Hogan goes down swinging. A lesson will be with you all the way through your life. Swing and a miss on the 3-2 pitch. McIlvain's got four strikeouts through three innings. Still no score. Game okay is... I don't see why when you got Barry, whose coach goes to one place. Mm, wow, I went behind it. Behind um, it. And he got two Oregon State kids that are at second now after the wild pitch. And the changeup missed inside. And it's back to back walks for the first time from Noah Hall and Vanderbilt in business with nobody out. Back to the fastball, and he catches him looking. One two to Leneve. Swing and a miss on the changeup. Back to back K's. And Hall, one out away from getting out of this jam. Swing and a miss, another changeup. He struck out the side after walking the first two. Rocker waiting for the draft this season. Most outstanding player in Omaha in 2019. Lighter SEC Newcomer of the Year. Strikeout machines, both of them. And this one's banged up the middle for a leadoff single for Kevin Madden. It's not understanding wise, as I've ever seen a kid in college throw. To second, they get one. Young back to first in a 4-6-3 double play. Belk swinging at the first pitch. Is not wasting any time. Get it and go. Just missed with 92. And that's a second walk from Chris McIlvain. Two on the way to Braswell. Breaking ball, bounce up the middle. Sliding stop, Colwick, and he touches the bag with his glove. Heads up play to end the South Carolina fourth. Four pitch walk. Rope to left field. First hit of the game for Vandy. Young stops at second. And the Commodores have runners at first and second with nobody out for the second straight inning. Nolan drops the bunt down. It'll die in the first foot of the grass. And the sacrifice advances Young to third and Kolick to second. It's like a snow cone and a Pinot Noir. Bradfield bounces this one up the middle. Nice range, Braswell, the freshman. On time, the first, but a run comes home as Carter Young crosses the plate. 
second week of the season and has found his home there. And he ropes this one into the left field corner. It's down for a base hit. It will drive home a run as Colwick scores. Diaz stands up at second. And the Commodores put together some hits here in the fifth. Look how long this barrel stays in the zone for the freshman. This is a kid they're really excited about. He's been solid at third base. If you look at this Vanderbilt lineup, the other eight names are names that you know. This is the one that you don't. It's a change up down and away. Now third at bat of the year for Davis Diaz, or third at bat of the game, excuse me, for Davis Diaz. So he's now seen that change up a few times. Hit him. Cool. Sends it right back up the middle and off of Hall. And he'll have no play. Now the runner coming home. The recovery is late. Vandy gets another one. Heads up base running by Davis Diaz. All right, now, I mean, this starts with Keegan staying on a slider. And, and you know, listen, if, if Hall has a chance to get a glove on it, it changes it. So slider down and away. Gets turned around. It looked like it clipped his right leg. Good competition. Pull to the right side. Wimmer can't quite get it. Vandy gets another one across in the end. It continues. Jones driven home by Laniv's single. Four nothing doors. Yeah, I mean, they get the first two on to start the inning. And then after that, it's sack bunt, ground ball, double hit by pitch, single, and now Roll over ground ball to the right side. It's just hitting the right spot. We ran enough time to get there. It was just kind of an awkward slide to it. Sorry for Keegan. But ultimately, it's the right play. Bulger puts a bump in this one to the left. Hogan has it. What an adventure in the fifth inning. Freshman so far. Seitler rips this one into the right field corner. Over to get it, Spencer Jones. And Seitler motors into second with a two out double. Sometimes it, it just means that, to your point, you got to wait your turn a little bit longer than some other places. Bradfield's got plenty of space. He hauls it in. South Carolina can't do anything with the two out doubles. Doubles, triples, home runs, slugging percentage, on base percentage, and stolen bases. Team, they're hitting 341. Four pitch walk puts Colwick aboard. And he sends a line drive to third, handled there, back across the diamond and a double play. An eight pitch, sixth inning for Noah Hall. And the times have to change sometimes. I do think it speeds it up a little bit. Fastball down in the zone, and McElvain has another strike at his fourth of the game. The, the, the tennis music is good music. Whoa, oh, oh, do it! Blind pick yes. up by McElvain, and it's a one, two, three, sixth. Come on, athletes. Nothing to it. There are different ways to end in a fielding position. That is one of them. Glove on the backside. <laughs> Nothing to it. Flip it on the way out. It's one, two, three. Into the gap in right center field for Bradfield. He'll be running for a while. Halfway to second now. Ball finally picked up at the wall. He's headed into third, and he'll get there. No slide necessary, but did it anyway. It's just fun to watch this kid run. <clears throat> it's fun because I have no idea what it feels like. But the minute the ball goes in the gap for Bradfield, whether it's right center or left center, I mean, it's a lock double, obviously, but it's generally a lock triple. This one, everything's in front of him, takes a peek, then puts his head down. Slides just for effect right here. Infield in here, 0-2 to Diaz. I don't draw the line. Uh oh In the middle of an order. Wedges that one into shallow center. That'll bring home Bradfield with ease. Diaz follows the second. The advantage of being 6-7 right here. Get a little bit more reach. This was right off the ground. It looked like Slider down and away that Jones. Well, that one actually looks like it may have tied him up a little bit. 
up the middle under Gil Reese glove and into center field around third Diaz no throw at the plate and Vanderbilt's up by a touchdown now Changed a little bit these last few innings. Noah Hall breezed through the first four. Then Vanny puts four in the board. Hewitt draws a walk. Over the shortstop's head. That'll get one run home. And Vandy will stop right there. Jones scores. Keegan stops at third. And the bases remain loaded on a Jack Bulger RBI single. Junior from Sella, Washington. He was a Gatorade Washington Player of the Year in 2018. Seitler called off by Wimmer. And he almost got taken down. He did by Hornung. And he'll flip over to second. But a run comes home. Heads up base running by Dominic Keegan. After Wimmer got taken out. And he sends a line drive up the middle. Hewitt has scored. Bulger stops at second. And Vandy pouring it on right now in the seventh. But the arbitration clock is, is is still real. It happens. And with a guy like Leiter, I would assume that, although not publicly talked about, it figures into it. But Just a handful of voices. And what a nice play by Tate Colwick at second base. Make a lot of money. Love to live in that state. No, oh, by the way, First class facilities. Keep training. Horning with a two out single, and that'll keep alive for Colin Burgess. Off the knuckles and handled by Colwick. 3 2 pitch to Keegan. And there's a two out walk. Payoff. Upstairs, here's ball four. A pair of two out walks. Four pitch walk, it's the third consecutive walk. Nothing, no, Mr. Braves hat. It's a 10th walk of the game for this South Carolina staff. Then the second string guy went down and so they handed the reins to him. He took over, never gave him back. 5'11", sophomore, and that's in there for a strike. And Berkwich still won it that way. But I, I, I think to your point, we were talking about a little bit earlier today, um, mission that the collegiate strike zone is, is different than the pro strike zone. That's fine. It's a different game. Well hit to left. That's over the head of Hewitt and going into second. And go on the weekend to... Whatever it is, 60, 70 games over the course of the season, make a good living. Through opening day, got it handed to me, and you know, then dumped a scooter. I mean, I had a bunch of ABC <laughs> scores. I remember that. ABC <laughs> stores on every corner. Strike three called on Sino. Evans with the slider for strike three called. That'll do it. He works a one, two, three, ninth. Needs just 10 pitches to get three outs. And Vandy finishes off game one with a 10-0 shutout.